Scientists suggest that the development of quantum computing is just like this leap from horse to plane. A quantum computer is not merely a faster classical computer. It's a different type of machine that takes advantage of the quirky, counterintuitive, and the untapped phenomena of quantum mechanics. This is its higher dimension. Imagine a computer so powerful it can simulate novel materials to sequester carbon from our atmosphere. A machine that can develop affordable fertilizers that save energy and conserve fossil fuels. Or one that can tackle problems so complex that traditional supercomputers struggle under their enormity. That's kind of a crazy sounding idea, but a quantum computer perhaps can harness that by doing some calculations over here and other calculations over there in parallel. Now it's doing, in some sense, twice as many calculations as a classical computer existing in one world would be able to do. This might sound like science fiction or an ambitious concept from a speculative future, but one company has already built it. This is IBM's quantum-centric supercomputer, a system designed around a 100,000 qubit architecture. It's not just an incremental improvement, the device represents a shift in how computation is structured. Machines like this begin to challenge the boundary between classical processing and quantum scale problem solving. That's why there are literally tens of thousands of the world's brightest minds trying to build these machines and understand them. And it seems that the scientific community is split into two passionate factions when it comes to this field. 